This new BeatStore Soundy has five incredible features that I want to show you today. And because time is money, I'm going to try and do it under five minutes. Or at least try to do it. Okay, so let me take a guess here. You upload your beats to YouTube, you upload them to Instagram, maybe you have a SoundCloud, and maybe you're even trying to get into email marketing. But other than just the vanity metrics of views, plays, likes, and opens, which platform is actually driving you sales? And for all my producers who haven't made a sale yet wondering if this video is for them, don't worry, number three is gonna be your golden ticket. And so that brings me to point number one, because with Soundy, you can use what's known as custom parameters to actually track where sales are coming from. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Long story short, these are parameters that we put in the URL of our beat store. These are parameters that Soundy can track for us so we can know which platforms are worth our time and which ones aren't worth our time. Now, because I only have five minutes and I have four more amazing features to cover, if you want an in-depth tutorial on this, check the description below for a video we published that will explain it super simple to you. Now, on top of tracking sales, there's another trick we can use with our beat store URLs that can increase your sales. Sounds like bullshit, right? Well, remember this, we always tell producers selling beats is an e-commerce business. And if you wanna make sure that you never sell a beat, then you're gonna to wanna to make the process as hard as possible. You essentially would want your customers to solve a maze or a riddle before even being able to buy a beat. But we want the opposite, right? We want it to be as simple as possible for customers to check out and buy beats. And that is exactly what we do with this sneaky little piece of text that we put in our URL. See, when you do an email campaign or you just run a sale for your beat store in general, there's one extra step that artists always have to do. Apply the coupon. And I know this sounds super easy, but the leading e-commerce brand Shopify says this. They say that offering automatic discounts is much more seamless than sending customers discount codes that they have to enter manually. And the reason why we listen to them is because studies show in 2021, the platform had generated over $4.6 billion for its users. So I would like to think they know what they're saying. And listen, I know that entering a coupon yourself sounds pretty easy, but in our experience, sometimes there can be issues. Sometimes people don't know where to put the coupon at. Sometimes people type in the wrong thing, then the coupon doesn't work, then they think the coupon is expired, but in reality, they just entered in the wrong coupon code. And so having that discount automatically apply just makes it super easier for people to actually use it. So if you want to auto apply a coupon for your Soundy store, all you have to do is add this text at the end of your Beat Store URL and just replace the coupon name with the name of the coupon. So if your coupon name is Xmas, all you then do is put equals Xmas. All right, so great. We're two features in and we have people going to your beat store with optimized ways, but there's still an issue. About 70% of artists who add a beat to their cart are more likely going to abandon their cart. So to put that in perspective for you, if 100 artists add to cart, on average, about 70 of them will not complete their checkout. Even if you only have a $20 lease on your store, nothing else, that's $1,400 in revenue that you have no way to recover on most other beat stores. Or the feature is very minimal on other beat stores as well. But Soundy has a very unique system where you can easily recover these carts. And the best part about this is that you are in full control and you can customize the complete process of when these emails send out, what these emails say, giving people discounts and everything. And for all my producers who haven't sold a beat yet, remember this, just because you haven't sold a beat, it doesn't mean that no artist hasn't added one to their cart and almost checked out. Think about it, on average, about 70% of people abandon their cart. So your first sale might just be one click away, but the artist abandoned their cart. So with this feature, it could be your saving grace to finally get that first beat sale that you have been dreaming about. Now, if you wanna learn about how to actually get this set up and the technicalities behind it, I'll leave an easy to follow documentation guide below, or you can also ask in the Soundy Discord for more support. Sweet, so in this process, we got the abandoned cart covered. So now maybe some more sales are starting to roll in. What is next? Well, on Soundy, there's one more hidden way that you can make more money from this customer, and it is not them buying another Beats 
Let me explain. Because of how licensing beat works, if you say this license is good for 100,000 streams, but the artist goes over it, they need to upgrade their license. But I guarantee you never thought about it this way. And this is the way that we have been using it for years now before it was even a feature in Soundy to make more money. If you think about it, artists may have just purchased your most cheapest license because they couldn't afford a more expensive one. So what would happen if you could give them a way to upgrade their license for a discount and the process was super simple and easy? Because that is exactly what we have been doing. You see, in Soundy, you can do two things. An artist can go back to their receipt URL and upgrade their license. And you can also specifically give them a coupon code they can use for upgrading their license. And here's the thing, right? Even if this upsell process of upgrading their license only works once a month, it's pretty much free money for you. Now, feature number five. On the surface, this feature is probably overlooked, but it's highly underestimated. In fact, I'm willing to bet it could lead to more sales and it's pretty self-explanatory. So let me paint the big picture here. If you had a store with 1,000 items but you noticed that you had two to three items that outsold every other item would you agree it would make more sense to highlight that item that's selling or find ways to promote that item that's selling a lot more than the other items well the same thing applies with a beat store if you are making pretty good money selling beats online i guarantee you you have some beats that just outperform all the other beats and here's the thing soundy gives you this data showing you your top selling tracks for your order your revenue your plays and other things like that and here are three things that you could do with this to give you more sales number one if you wanted to get into running ads you could run ads to those beats because for whatever reason people just seem to love them the most. Number two, you can actually move these beats on top of the track list so that way they show up first on your website. Number three, you can even highlight your top selling tracks on your beat store on the Soundy page builder to make them stand out once again even more. Essentially, the idea is that these beats, for whatever reasons, are just outselling the others. There's some appeal to this, so we want to promote that more. Now, listen, I understand this video may be all new and overwhelming to you, so we have a Soundy Discord you can join below to ask further questions if you need anything cleared up or getting help set up with everything. Peace out, have a good day.